and everyone you're welcome to tips and tricks with praise so this is a recap of what we did in the last video where i taught how to make an exposed zipper and an invisible zipper i hope you remember and hope if you are watching this video and you probably seen this for the first time maybe you have to go back to my previous video to catch up where we stopped so just tag along this is the second part of the video So for today, we are going to be doing something totally different which is called the centered zipper and of, I don't know, people probably might, have seen this, probably might have seen these zippers before, probably on your skirt or your dresses or tops. So I'm just going to teach you how to do it yourself so that when you see it next time, it will not look strange to you. The first thing you're going to be doing is with your two fabric pieces facing each other, um, front facing front determine the length of your zipper first that's the first thing you have to do check the length of your zipper and how long you want your zip to be if it's for a skirt or a top just have that in mind but for this tutorial i'm going to act like we are working on a skirt like a zipper for the back of your skirt so i'm just going to be considering that and for this i'm going to be using a 10 inch as my zipper length though my zipper is quite long but i'm just going to be stopping around 10 inch now i will assume that my zipper allowance is one inch for this particular tutorial so i'm just going to mark out one inch for my sewing allowance all the way down so i'm connecting that line right now with a ruler just to assure that i'm doing working on a straight line now i'm just going to start a stitch from that particular part or I'll start from the beginning a loose stitch stop at that zipper end where my zipper is going to stop and then I'll finish up with a tight stitch now run a loose stitch like a basting stitch with your machine on the loosest stitch length then I'm just going to stop there I'll back stitch at that point when my zipper is going to end and I'll run a loose stitch or a tight stitch depending on what you want but this I'm running a tight stitch now you're going to go and press this open your seam allowances you're going to press it open like this now we've pressed it open and you see it's flat felt and cool now I'm just going to go ahead and put my zipper still with my stitch still intact I'm just going to put my zipper but first of all let us make our zipper one if you are watching this tutorial you don't understand these parts you might want to watch the part one of this video it's in two parts this is a continuation of the last video where i'm teaching how to make zippers now this is where my zipper is going to stop exactly at 10 inch. i'm just going to mark that out so it reflect on the positive side of my zipper Now, I can either put my zipper to stop here, that's the end of the zipper, or I will just move my zipper down in whichever way works, so as you're not going to sew, you're not working a very tough zipper that might break your needle. So, but for this tutorial, I'm just going to stop my zipper where the zipper originally ends at that part and I'm, going, I'm secure with a pin at the center of my zipper so i'm going to secure with a tape because it's just easier to work with now make sure your zipper is well centralized your zipper tip is facing the center of your fabric that you've sewn now go to your sewing machine on the positive side that you're turning your fabric over or your zipper bodies over and just sew away from the zipper Seat. you're going to be using your zipper foot please guys now i might use my zipper foot as a stitch guide whatever anyone you feel like would make you achieve a straight line please do i'm going to be working on very slim stitch here which i don't really know why i did so but when you're working on yours make sure you can give enough stitch gap away from the center point i hope you understand what i'm saying please make sure you read the text box appearing on this video because you're going to be hearing a lot of things or seeing a lot of things I failed to mention while working. You can also end your well start your zip 
half inch away from the center line i'm working a very slim stitch like about one four away from the center length okay now when you get to this part where your zipper is topped that's where your zipper stopper is i'm just going to put my needle inside my fabric and turn over to the other side now you have to be careful you may want to measure this part to, to achieve precision on both sides and be very slow to go back to the other side now i'm going, just going to turn and continue sewing guys i have a cold so just excuse my voice right now i'm trying to this is not the happiest i've done i've sounded in my videos I'm down with the cold but we gotta do what we gotta do now just take out your stitch with your seam ripper the loose stitch over the zipper because of course you can't zip without losing that i'm removing the tape the paper tape have gummed over my zipper the back it's paper tape so it's going to come out quite easy now this is the finished work you see it looks like an invisible zipper don't it hey what did i just say doesn't it oh please whoa this is not an english class so look at the finished work and this is how it's going to look like at the end of the day this is quite pretty the back is quite pretty this is my fabric in giving problems so i'm just going to take out those rough threads hanging around and this is the back this is the front i kind of like the zipper don't you now the next zipper i'm going to be teaching you is your regular zipper method um this is one zipper you find in most dresses and this is one of the zipper that is the most common zipper around so I'm going to be using a normal regular zipper, this open hand zipper, like the one some people will locally call open and close zipper. I really don't know what that means, but it's an open hand zipper. I'm using a one inch sewing so allowance. I'm going to be working throughout my fabric. So I'm taking that one inch all the way to the down of my fabric. If you are sewing the top, this is the best zipper method to use. Now I've ironed my stitch length i ran a loose stitch by the way not a tight stitch and i'm just going to take out my loose stitch with my seam ripper so this is why you need a seam ripper please don't use any blade don't use a scissors don't use a cut glass don't use your teeth work with your seam rippers so now we are done with that your zip facing down at the front of your fabric i'm just going to be sewing along the stitch line you know you're seeing that sharp crepsy line right that's to give that will give you a balance on both sides of your fabric you know if you have issues with your zipper that whenever you finish on your zipper it's moving towards one side or it's not centralized this is a very good hack to achieve a very centralized zipper so now i'm just going to be sewing on one side of my fabric with one side of my zipper you know it's open and closed right now i've separated my zipper into two and i'm just sewing like this so ignore my color of thread i'm working on a black zipper i'm trying to use a contrasting color so that this video will be very visible to you my stitch length will be very sorry my stitches will be very visible to you and you will have to say, oh, I did not see what you're doing, no. That's why I did not do my own like this, so no, I don't want excuses. Yes, so let's go. I'm going to do the other part, but checking if it's equal, so I will not have one side going up, one side going down. I really, really hate a bad zip. So, I'm just going to stitch that down. Still using my zipper foot. You know, when you get to this point then you know it's, i know it's very difficult to sew but what i'll just do is i'll just push my zipper head up to where i've sewn and i'll just continue sewing it's as easy as that you don't have to cry when you get to that point sew down and just do a back stitch at that point to secure it So yeah, we're done here. Now let me fix it. These are kind of zippers you can find on your sweatshirts, your bags, your purses, your tops, your gowns, whatever. 
so this is how it looks like so you go and high on it and you look very very fine i like it don't you it's quite easy easier when you use it zipper foot don't come and complain that you don't get it if you are using a regular machine foot now this is the last one we'll be doing for today and is the reversible exposed zipper just like the one we did in the last video if you are here to watch my last video you don't understand what i'm saying there's a video before this it's a continuation video so you might want to go back and watch it i'm going to do a reversible exposed zipper where your zipper tape your zipper length everything will be showing on the outside of your dress yes i have a top to show for it i'm not making it up people wear things like this it's for design purpose anyway it's not say really serious there it's just to show that yeah my zip is out it's not like this one that we did before this one everything is eating your zip tape is eating but this one reversible exposed zipper everything is coming out outside your top so like the previous video you're still going to iron your fabric on fold but this time you're going to be ironing the wrong side i mean your your right side of your fabric will be where you'll be working on i hope you understand please read the text box now i'm getting the length of my zipper first things first i'm going to be using the whole of my zipper anyways but still i'm going to be marking out where the stopper ends you will see how i'm going to work that out now go to your sewing machine and make your zipper one but first let us mark out our one four on both sides of your center line mark out one four on both sides on your center line then i'll just connect with the ruler please connect yours on a straight line now go back up by half inch away from where my zipper ends i'll go up by half inch and mark it out like this i'll connect with a ruler to ensure i have a straight line guys very important to work with straight lines on these zippers because this zipper it will disgrace you if you don't do well <laughs> so this is what you're going to get making sure my lines are mm, on point I don't want to hear stories now I'm just going to go ahead and mark out this little triangle from the center line to the end of the zipper length do it on the other side as well and this is what you're going to be getting go and i'll cut over along the center line stop where the mm, triangle starts from now use your snipper to finish up your fabric snipper be snip this is what you're going to be doing now you're going to be ironing over unlike the other zipper we iron inwards but this one you're going to be flipping your one for over on the right side of your fabric now i'm just going to secure with a pin make your zipper one by stitching the loose end of your zipper together just going to go ahead now and sew my zipper to my fabric but first of all we have to take out those pins oh no let me not be faster than my shadow you're just going to stitch that little triangle under your zipper stopper you see like this just flip your triangle outwards and sew over your zipper stopper hmm. if you are watching this video to this extent and you are yet to subscribe or you are this person that sneaks into my page watch my videos and you don't leave comments likes you don't even subscribe please stop it stop the air i can see you mm -hmm. so let's be nice to each other please remember to subscribe like leave a comment and tell your friends about this channel would you <laughs> all right let's keep going so i'm just going to sew now flip my fabric over and sew on the right side guys this is not like the exposed zipper this is a reversible exposed zipper so everything you did in that video you are doing it upside down i hope you get the point sha Please make sure you read the text box. I've mentioned this like the 10th time since this video started because you're going to see a lot of things I did not mention on the text box. Now I'm just going to be sewing over the other side. Use your 
your zipper foot it will make it very easy for you this is what you would get afterwards this is the front of your fabric please if you are skipping my videos and you got to this point and you are confused please go back go and watch don't be confused just go back and watch where we started this zipper method from okay i know some people watch and skip and skip and they will not say i don't understand how would you when you did not watch the video completely please guys now you're going to run a stitch over the zipper tape at the end of the zipper tape like this to secure your fabric edges inside your zipper do you understand and to keep your zipper in space now look very closely now you're just going to when you get to this point you're going to fold your zipper hand because this, this is the outside of our dress or top we don't want any loose ends we want to make it as neat as possible so yeah when you get to that point fold then turn over to the other side tuck in the other zipper hand and continue sewing till you get to the other side please guys just ignore my snake stitch my stitch i know looks like a snake right now <laughs> but please make sure yours is neater at this point i'm already getting really burnt out and i just wanted to finish this tutorial and go and sleep <laughs> so that's why i could not make it as straight as possible please make yours very very neat i trust you to do better please and give us a feedback when you achieved yours now see we are done here yeah. <laughs> so now you see how pretty it looks like this is the back of your fabric i know it's in the front right mm. i'm sorry oh but please do yours better this is the front of your fabric this is where it's going to be showing please use a matching color thread if i had used the black thread you wouldn't see all this stitch line i had to use this because of this tutorial now this is how it's going to look like this is my own top this is the front of my top the zipper everything is just showing like this this is how it's going to look like it's, it's actually really cute you can put it at the front of your blouse it's really cute honestly it's really cute don't you think so this is the back of my fabric like you see now this is what we have done for today our exposed zipper invisible zipper we did a centered zipper we did an irregular zipper <laughs> and a reversible exposed zipper thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed today's tutorial love you so much bye